you know, I spent the first five years of my, um, of my career actually building complex telecommunications network management systems. And when I was doing that, I got really frustrated because you do a lot of repetitive stuff when you're building with high code, a term I can now use, uh, that brand is now coined. And then I spent the next 25 years of my career really working um, in research, trying to understand how can we make tools that would take away some of that repetitiveness and make developers more productive. And then for the last 13 years of that 25 years, I've also been involved in um, TaskTop, a company I, I co-founded, where we've been trying to make really large software developments for the programmers that work on those systems, the developers, or the requirements analysts, much more productive. So what I love about sort of the product side of my career is the fact that when you ship things, it's really satisfying. It's satisfying to see people use the software you build. And what I love about the research side of my career is the ability to really look at problems very, very deeply. You're often taking a very thin slice and going very deep. What this talk tries to do is kind of step back a little bit and look at some of those problems, not from the viewpoint of exactly how we can solve them, but how we can look at themes that might be allow, allow us to take things in a different direction. And I will warn you that this is very much from a high co code point of view, but I think a lot of these themes actually apply in model-based and model-oriented development as well. So fundamentally, uh, what I want to drive at is the fact that we have way too much software that needs to get built in the world. So think about all those birds on the right-hand side as being all the software that's being demanded by different users. And the poor little bird on the left is the one that's supposed to produce that software. And we have this fundamental mismatch between the demands of our user bases, no matter what kind of software you're building, whether it's safety critical, whether it's user oriented, and the number of people that exist to actually provide it. And that's one of the reasons I've been really interested in productivity. So this is Jackson. Jackson's a software developer at, at TaskTop, this company I co-founded. And what I find interesting, I'm going to start this little video of Jackson programming. You can barely tell, but if you look at his hands, you can see that he's actually typing. Um, in comparison to when I was a programmer 30 years ago, it's amazing how little has changed in Jackson's world compared to the world 30 years ago. He's got more toys. He's got Nerf guns. He's got three screens, and we only usually had one relatively reasonable size screen, but not that big. But other than that, he is moving between editors, and he's moving to um, pushing his builds out to the cloud, he's running test tools, and he's managing a lot of that work. That's not that different from the way that we were programming 30 years ago. You can't really see that on a screen, but here's a depiction of the activities that developers undertake as they're doing that kind of software development work. 